Hey, what's going on guys? Brock Keen Madison here and on today's live, day 20 of the 30 day video challenge, that only leaves us 10 days, 10 days guys. And even when this challenge is over, you'll still be seeing me each and every day or I'll be kind of switching it up, you know, to keep you guys entertained or whatever and this way you can continuously see me. Now with that being said guys, as you can see in the caption, today's topic is what is an entrepreneur? And now I'm going to give you three things that actually define an entrepreneur. But before I get into that, I want to give you a little story that happened to me today, right? So today is Father's Day. And, you know, I, I most times, you know, on Father's Day, the father spends time with the family and the kids. Now, what I decided to do today was to, um, you know, go out, you know, have, enjoy some time, spend some time with the wife and kid and, you know, go out and eat, take the kids to the museum. So we ended up going, we live in, uh, you know, Sierra Vista, Arizona, and we ended up going to um, Tucson today, right? So we went to Tucson, you know, uh, took the kids to the museum, they had fun, you know, they saw some things that they liked and we, you know, it was like a history type of museum. So we learned some things and the kids, you know, had a blast. So, um, after we eat, we went and got some ice cream or whatever, and then we got back on the road um, to go to, to come back home here to Sierra Vista, which is about an hour away from Tucson, right? So, we, we're headed back home, and I don't know if you were on my live last night. If you're on here right now, just let me know where it is you're coming from. But if you were watching my uh, day 19 of the 30-day video challenge, uh, just last night, you notice I uh, gave, gave you an overview of a particular company that I'm involved in that, you know, uh, provides uh, unlimited, roadside unlimited roadside assistance, right? So just last night, you know, I was explaining this to you and what they offer and, you know, pretty much the whole breakdown of how things works with the particular company and also how you can build an income with it. So what I want to talk about tonight and, you know, kind of continue my story is um, I, it looks like we got a uh, Deidre Fleming on here. Well, hey, what's going on, girl? And uh, we got a uh, Brad Chaser Jones. I appreciate y'all for hopping on here. You know, I always enjoy, you know, talking to different people. All right. So with that being said, I'll kind of finish the story. So we're coming back home from Tucson. Like I said, it's about an hour away from my house. And all of a sudden, like, we, we noticed that the, the vehicle starts driving a little bit different, right? So it's my wife's vehicle. And then we noticed, like, uh, at first we had the air on and we noticed, you know, it, it kind of changed. And then all of a sudden we, we see, like, fluids coming out of the vehicle. So I, I uh, you know, I tell my wife, hey, we should just pull over. We don't want to run any risks. So we pull over and literally, like, as we're pulling over, we're seeing like the, 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 it's literally spurting out, right? It's spurting out at the bottom and we don't know, we don't know what it is. It can be, you know, pretty much anything. So we pull over and the, the front of the truck is smoking, right? It's smoking. So, you know, we kind of let it cool down a little bit and we're just chilling on the road. Now, you know, kind of fast forward the story here. Um, at that time, we're trying to figure out, you know, what are we going to do, right? So what I decided to do, I had, I remembered that, um, I had the membership card in my wallet, right, to the particular company. Now, if you want to see, you know, what that company has to offer, just go back and watch day 19. Today is day 20. If you've been following me, just go back and watch day 19 and, and I give you a full overview of the company. Now, but for the most part, they give you unlimited roadside assistance, right? So, um, like I said, kind of fast forward. We, I, I called Motor Club of America, which is the particular company that I'm referring to, um, called them, um, went through the line, talked to somebody, and boom, they got my contact information, right? Made a few calls, and then they called me right back and said, hey, all right, so we're going to set you up, and we're going to get your car towed free of charge, right? So keep in mind, like I said, I give you a full overview on day 19. So if you want to know, you know, exactly what this company, what this company offers you and how you can build an income, just go back to day 19. All right. And also, if you're just hopping on, let me know where it is you're coming from. Uh, I'm talking about what is an entrepreneur, but I'm also just giving people a little bit of story, a little bit of proof of, you know, what happened to me today. 
So I'll kind of continue the story. And basically, um, I called him. And what I also did, I told my wife to call uh, another membership that we were in previously, which was uh, AAA, right? And if you're on here right now, you probably know who AAA is or whatever they have. So my wife, um, she she calls them as well, right? And this is this is more of a test, right? So I call MCA. I already know what they offer. I already knew I was going to get up to 100 miles towing free of charge, right? And I already understood since we were already with the other company um, before that it's five free miles. And then after that, you pay four dollars per every mile. So so literally we were 52 miles away from my house, right? So if you do the math uh, with AAA, you're going to pay four dollars times 50 to 52, Right, so that I I don't even, to do the math. That's about two two hundred almost three hundred bucks, right? And uh, after after my wife talked to him and seeing you know what what was the uh, total gonna be, it came out to like almost three hundred dollars, right? And I already knew I was getting free of charge, but I kind of wanted to just see, you know, um, the difference or whatever. And when I when I when when she told when they told her the price. I just said, you know, pretty much, yeah, you can pretty much hang that up. You know what I mean? So we, uh, I was waiting for MCA. They came, they towed uh, my wife's vehicle to the house and we're going to have that, we're going to have that worked on, you know, tomorrow or whatever. But I was able to get my vehicle towed for free. Now, granted, if I was somebody and I didn't have, you know, the business, if I wasn't involved in the business that I'm in right now, I would have paid almost $200, $300 today to get my vehicle towed for 52 miles, right? So there's the value in that, you know, just to kind of show you the story and um, just kind of tell you a little bit about what happened today. It was kind of odd that, you know, I was just talking about this last night on last night's live and then today uh, and explaining the company and then today um, people actually, uh, it actually happened into where I had to use it. You know what I mean? But like I said, the vehicle was towed. The vehicle is outside. Um, it's my wife's vehicle. We're going to have it worked on tomorrow. So I'm very grateful for the particular company. Uh, I'm grateful, you know, that I'm making income with the company as well. Right. And, you know, I got my teammates as well. Hey, what's going on, Matthew? Good to see you on here, brother. Let me know where it is that you're coming from. Haven't talked to you in a while, brother. It's good to see you on here. But yeah, I'm just talking about what is an entrepreneur. Now I'm going to actually talk about that particular subject. I kind of just wanted to give you guys a story um, about that particular instance because it's just so happened. I was just given an overview about it last night. And then today I was able to use the coverage and get my car towed 52 miles and don't pay a dime. Right. So I'm very grateful for this uh, particular company that I'm involved in. Right. And if you do and if you do want to know, you know, more information about it, uh, you can either just reach out to me or you can just go back and watch day 19. Now, with that being said, I'm going to jump into what is an entrepreneur. Right. So I basically wrote it out. But, you know, I have my I have it in my mind, but I, I basically wrote it out. So um, basically an entrepreneur is a starter. Someone who literally creates something new or, you know, it, like an initiative, right? It's somebody who just takes charge on creating something new, right? They're, they're, they're creating solutions for people's problems, right? Those, that's what an entrepreneur does. So also another thing is they're a driver, right? And, uh, like one of the characteristics of an entrepreneur is they have to become a leader, right? They have to, you know, uh, really put together, uh, like really be put together as far as mindset, you know, uh, working on personal development. These are things that they have to know because eventually an entrepreneur is going to have employees or they're going to have, depending on which industry that you're in, an entrepreneur is going to have either employees, you're going to have a team, depending on if you're in the internet marketing base, it's going to be a team. So that's, I mean, those are not really your employees, but it's, it's helping you to learn the different skills that you need. Let's say if you, you know, create your own company and now you have to, now you have to focus on getting employees. You know what I mean? So an entrepreneur so far is a starter and also a driver, right? And the third, the third characteristic of, you know, being an entrepreneur is 
You have to be accountable and responsible. So literally, in each and everything that you do, right, whether it's good or bad, or if it happens in your business, you have to be accountable and you have to be responsible for it, right? You don't always want to be accountable and responsible for the good stuff that happens, because I'm telling you, it's going to be some bad things and, you know, you're going to go through it at times, right? Because like I said, I've said this many times is uh, building a business has simple, simple steps, but it's not easy, right? So keep in mind, this is not easy to do, but when you learn skill sets and you're able to teach other people and you can acquire them and those skill sets alone can change your life, then I, I honestly, like I heard the saying, uh, you know, working a job is hard and also being an entrepreneur is hard. Well, choose your heart. You know, how, which path do you want to take? You know what I mean? And for me, honestly, I really enjoy the entrepreneur route. You know what I mean? Obviously, right now, um, I still work a job. You know, obviously, I'm in the military, so that's a contract-based thing. But eventually, I want to break free of that, right? So I'm putting in the work each and every day, right? That goes back to being accountable and responsible. You know what it is that you have to do to create the results that you want in your life. So go after it. You know what I mean? So maybe that's working a job for you. Maybe that's the, that's that's what you enjoy. That's what you that maybe that's just what you want to do, right? And then there's the people that, you know, they call us crazy sometimes is the excuse me is the entrepreneurs, you know what I mean? So, the, the you know, the more the story tonight is just choose your heart. Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to be able to travel? Do you not want to have a boss over your neck? You know, these are things that you can have, you know, being an entrepreneur. And then, or do you want to just work a job, excel, keep hitting ranks, or whatever it is that, you know, to, that it takes for you to, you know, achieve different levels, you know, in, in, in your particular workplace, right? So, you know, though, I'll just kind of recap the three things that, you know, define an entrepreneur real quick. So, an entrepreneur is a starter, right? They start things and it's someone who just creates something new, right? They solve people's problems. All right, so the second thing is an entrepreneur is the driver. It's a leader, right? So, another word for entrepreneur is just leader, because that's what they're going to have to become, right? People are going to look up to them, especially the employees that they're hiring, depending on which type of business that you run, right? Looks like we got somebody hopping on. Uh, let me know where it is you're coming in from. Um, like I said, we're just talking about what is an entrepreneur. All right, and then the last thing just uh, to take us out on this live is an entrepreneur is accountable and responsible, this is, to, to be honest, this is the most important part. Being accountable and responsible for both good and bad that happen in your business. So with that being said, guys, you know, that pretty much concludes my message today. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a story to begin this because, like I said, this, the, what I was referring to was a particular business that I'm involved in that also provides me services and also on top of that, I'm able to profit from that business, right? So kind of wanted to give you that story, a little bit of proof story. And with that, guys, you know, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and jump off this live and I will see you guys on day 21. And like I said, as you're hopping on, just let me know where it is you're coming from, whether you're on a, a live or you're on a replay, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out and I'll see you guys on day 21. Peace.